Hey everybody, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be talking about three specific movies that I think are just brilliant and you should watch these movies and if you haven't watched them, then you are missing out. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get right into the video. All of these three movies are based on true events or are based on the lives of real people. The first movie that I'm going to be talking about is The Pursuit of Happiness. It stars Will Smith and Jaden Smith, his son in the movie and obviously he's his son in real life as well but he's really small like literally this big i watched this movie a couple of years ago actually and it has just stuck a chord with me uh the message is so powerful and obviously the acting is incredibly insane even jaden smith is so realistic and so like his performance is really power packed. The Pursuit of Happiness is based on true events on the life of uh, Chris Gardner, a San Francisco salesman. And he basically is a, a broker. He is a salesman who goes door to door and he sells Xerox machines and he isn't having the best of times. They're pretty much going broke and his wife leaves him because of that and he leaves his, their son as well in his custody. So he has to earn, he has to find a job and he has to find a settlement to settle in with his son and he's also trying obviously to build a future for himself and his son so everything is just pretty much falling down upon him and everything is on his shoulders the story is pretty gut-wrenching but it has been shot and acted incredibly well and it's obviously the real life events of a person so it just tells us so much about life from the perspective of a different person what i like about this novel again i'm a booktuber what I like about this movie is the fact that it teaches you so many things. The core concept, what I have gathered from watching the movie, is that we need to relish in the small happiness in life, in the smaller things that are there, the smaller blessings that we have in life. A lot of the time what happens is that we put happiness as the end goal, that we will be happy after getting this, but that shouldn't be our mentality. Happiness should be throughout the process it should be there with us throughout the process and if we are not happy during the way we won't be happy once we have reached the goal because the goal never stays the same the other thing that i think is really important the movie has taught is the importance of hard work and the importance of having a dream and protecting it and working for it the second movie that i'm going to be talking about is a beautiful day in the neighborhood and again i watched it on amazon prime and i actually watched it a couple of months ago so it's still available or it was available a couple of months ago if you haven't watched it just go ahead and watch it it's so heartwarming and it's so wholesome you will have a big old smile on your face by the time you are done with the movie it's so good it stars tom hanks so just it just goes without saying that it's an incredibly well acted movie. A Beautiful Day in the Neighborhood is again based on true life events. The main thing that I took away from the movie was the importance of forgiveness and how we need to forgive people before it's too late, before it's too late for us to go to them and say we are sorry or we accept your apology or that we are sorry we took so long. And I have heard this one thing that's really beautiful and I don't exactly know who said it but I just remembered it right now and it's you are angry at the other person as long as they're alive as long as there is life in other person's body you have the liberty to be angry with them and that's it once they're gone you cannot take anything back and you can't be angry at them let go it's so hard to let go and it's so hard to forgive and obviously there are other aspects to the movie as well and there are so many other lessons that you get to learn from it one other thing is to not judge other people on the basis of their outer appearances okay now coming towards the last movie that i want to talk about the third movie is the mauritanian and again i saw it on amazon prime a couple of months ago so it's still available because it was released last year um towards the end of last year i think it's based on real life events and it's based on the life of someone who was wrongly accused in the 9-11 attacks and he was sent to Guantanamo Bay and he spent more than six years in that prison. The movie is based on a book so if you don't want to watch the movie go ahead read the book. The person's name is Mohamedou Ul Slahi 
The movie is actually really hard to watch. I uh, had to skip certain scenes because it just got overboard. But obviously we know the fact that Guantanamo Bay is one of the worst prisons in the world. A lot of things that happen there are more than inhumane. Dogs and cats have more rights than people sent there, what they go through. And obviously I have seen a lot of other movies where they have shown whatever happens, like the torture techniques and all that, whatever goes in that prison. And But, but they are not documentaries, they are fiction. And we all know that whatever happens there is 100 times worse than what they show in the movies. So it just really is a really hard movie to watch. But by the time the end credits will roll, you will have regained a little bit of faith in humanity. It's an eye-opener and not only that, it just like slaps you so hard in the face with the fact that so many things are happening in life and we moan about so petty things in life. It just makes you think about so many things and it also focuses on the fact that whatever media is telling us is not necessarily true. There are so many facts that are hidden and there are so many things that are wrongly told to the public and we just have the wrong narratives about so many different things. So those are the three movies that I think everybody should watch. The first two are pretty clean, simple, beautiful movies. The third one is a bit of a harsh one to watch, but I urge you to watch it. If you have any other movie recommendation, leave that in the comments below. I would love to watch new movies, new content, but make sure that they are available on Amazon Prime India because that's what I am subscribed to. And with that note, we have come to the end of this video. If you haven't subscribed, make sure to do that. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you want to follow me on my socials, the links are in the description and the handles are on the screen. And I will see you guys really soon, inshallah. Till then, take care. God bless you. Assalamu alaikum. Bye.